In a previous tutorial, I showed how to set up a car simulation using a very simple model of a car. In this tutorial, I'm going to use this car, which is taken from my modeling tutorials, and I'll show you how to set it up so that it will run in a browser window. The starting point for this tutorial is a model of a car chassis and the model of a car wheel. You can use your own models or you can download this file from my website. Set the Z rotation so that the car chassis is pointing in the negative Y direction. My chassis is pointing in the positive Y direction so I need to set the Z rotation to 180. Press S to scale, 0.5 and enter, and in the object menu, apply rotation and scale. Do the same for the car wheel. Set the Z rotation to 180, press S to scale, 0.5 and enter, and in the object menu, apply rotation and scale. To place the wheels, I'm going to toggle into quad view. I'm going to move the wheel nearer to the chassis and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the car chassis and use the tip of the blue arrow to move it up. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and select the wheel and use the tip of the arrow to move the wheel so that it just touches the green Y axis. Round the value to 0 0.3. Use the tip of the red arrow to place the wheel in the X direction. I'm going to have the wheel sticking out a bit. I'm going to round the value to 0 0.8. Before I place the wheel in the Y direction, I want to move the car chassis down. Before I move the car chassis, I want to see its collision bounds so that when I move it down, they don't overlap with the ground plane. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Click the Physics Properties. Click Object Physics. The physics type must be Rigid Body. Set the Mass to 600. And as Convex Hull is not supported, change the Collision Shape to Box. Because of the parts of the model that stick up, we haven't got much room to play with underneath, but in the object menu, Transform Geometry to Origin does move the chassis down a bit. Change the view to the bottom view. Change the view from Perspective to Orthographic and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Click Object Properties, select the wheel and use the tip of the green arrow to place the wheel in the Y direction. I'm going to round the value to minus 1.32. Before I duplicate the wheel, I'm going to set its physics. Click the physics button, click object physics. We want type no collision. Click vehicle. The vehicle name set to car. The part, front left wheel. And I'm going to change the name to tire FL for front left. With the mouse pointer in the 3D view window, hold down shift and press D and enter to duplicate and use the tip of the green arrow to place the duplicate in the Y direction. I'm going to round the value to 1.64 and rename the duplicate tire BL for back left and set the vehicle part to back left wheel. Shift D and enter to duplicate and set the X location of the duplicate to minus 0.8. Change the view to the left view. Now the wheels have a grey side so we need to rotate the wheel by 180 degrees about the Z axis and in the object menu, apply the rotation. Change the name of the duplicate to tire BR 
and in the physics properties change the vehicle part to back right wheel duplicate shift D and enter and set the Y location of the duplicate to minus 1.32 change the name of the duplicate to tire FR for front right and in the physics properties change the name of the vehicle part to front right wheel I didn't finish setting up the physics for the chassis click vehicle set the vehicle name to car and the part should be chassis but the vehicle simulation will not work unless something is allocated to the vehicle part steering wheel so I'm going to add mesh cube press S to scale 0.2 and enter and use the tip of the blue arrow to move the cube so that it is inside the car click object physics change the physics type to no collision click vehicle set the vehicle name to car and set the part to steering wheel to add a ground plane add mesh plane press s to scale 40 and enter click object physics and collision bounds click fast preview and when the scene loads the camera will be the controlled object pressing Q will remove the control clicking the chassis will make the chassis the controlled object you can use the arrow keys to control the car that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website click the link or the eye icon if you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.